Welcome to the Rusted Garden. I wanted to show you one more way to create a disease barrier and that's to use grass clippings. I've done a couple videos showing you how soil splash comes up and explain the reason that you want to have a disease barrier is to, is to prevent spores from splashing up onto your tomatoes which can create, um, well not create, but give your tomatoes leaf spot or other blights that um, spread by spores. So very quickly you can see a pile of grass. I just cut my grass. Put a pile of grass into your raised bed or into your garden and you're just going to spread it out around the tomatoes um, two or three inches. You only want to do two or three inches because you want the grass to actually dry out and brown. After it dries out and browns you can put another two three inches on top of it the following week. Um, instead of you know painfully showing you how to do it I've already done it over here and you can see I cut the bottoms of the tomatoes out and put two or three inches of grass down along the way. And that's all you have to do to create a disease barrier. And although it's in another video, I want to show you why you do it. Um, you can see the splash of mud onto the bottom tomato leaves that I pruned out from there. And what I'll do is I'll end up with about 12 inches or maybe more of a gap between the ground and the grass and the top leaves and that's just to keep um, you know a space in there so that it's very difficult for spores that may be in your ground or overwintered in your ground to splash up onto your plant. Once you put the grass down um, prune your tomatoes up the next thing you want to do and if you can see let's see yeah it's in there so you can see the stem is dirty I have my basic spray container one gallon of water two tablespoons of baking soda, that's to spray on the tomatoes and that makes the leaves inhospitable to any spores that might be on there. The spores don't like a low uh, pH and they also don't like a high pH on the leaves. Um, and I use wettable sulfur, um, I used wettable sulfur last year and that was more acidic. This year I'm trying baking soda. Also in here is my 325 milligram tablet of aspirin, it's June 2nd so I'm giving it a dose of aspirin and you can check out a video on how the aspirin uh, boosts the defense mechanism on your tomato. But what I want to do for here is you just want to spray your stem down. Clean off all that dirt, spray under the leaves, clean it out. Um, you'd have to go around the other side and spray the top of the leaves, soak them well, and you're getting baking soda and the aspirin on them. And you would do that for all your plants and that's how you defend against uh, leaf spot, blights, and it's a way to really, you know, protect your tomatoes from the spores that could blow through the air, that might be in the ground, and hopefully you end up with healthy tomatoes. The only way to really deal with leaf spot and blights is to be defensive. Once you have it, you can't really cure it. You just have to be defensive. So if you start out defensively, maybe the plants won't get them. If you enjoyed this video, check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.